Hi, this is Laura Heritage. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can configure your Akana Developer Portal to use a Google login. So let's begin. Um, I'm going to click on login. Right now, you can see I have no logins. Right now, I'm using the, the identity management that the Akana um, platform provides for you. So I'm going to log in. I'm logging in as an administrator. OK, so once I'm logged, logged in, I'm going to come to the, the little wrench here, which is all your administrative tasks and things that you can do. And what we want to do is we want to add a domain. Um, this is the domain that we want to use to log in. We can log in using Facebook, Google, pretty much anything. Uh, I'm going to click on the Google connector. Now, before we can actually begin configuring um, the Akana um, information to connect to Google, we have to go set up our Google account, okay? And that's going to be where we do a bulk of the, the work, okay? So uh, to, to log in or to get the Google credentials all set up for your um, Akana developer portal to use them, you need to log into Google with your Google account and you need to go to console.developers.google.com. You can select which view. I like to work in the API manager view uh, for this, so you can select that view here. Um, right now I have no projects, so let's create a project by selecting Great Project. I can give it any name. I'm going to say Akana, Akana app. You can give it whatever name you want to give it. Um, after you've created the project, it's going to take a second while it's thinking and working on creating your project. Once you've created your project, then you need to go to credentials because you really need to get an app ID and secret. So we're going to say, um, it's going to come up, pop up with this because we don't have any. We need to create credentials. The thing that we want to create is the OAuth client ID. So I select that. Then something like this is going to pop up. And if this little window doesn't pop up for you right away, when you try to click on web app, because that's the thing, uh, the t application type we're going to use, it will pop up. And what this does is this has to, this is the pop up screen that prompts your users, hey, do you want this um, app to use your Google credentials? And you, you can say yes or no. So um, I'm going to put my product name. Mine is going to be Akana. Yours is not going to be Akana. Yours is going to be your name, not my name, your name. Same thing with this uh, um, homepage URL. I'm going to use Akana.com because that's my company and that's what my page is going to be. You provide your logo um, URL and any policy, privacy policies, terms of conditions, all that kind of stuff. When you're done there, you're going to click Save. Okay. Now you're going to select, like I said before, when you if you tried to click on this before, you wouldn't be able to click on it. You had to do the first thing first. I'm going to select web application. And then I'm going to be prompted with more, um, more things I have to do. What I really have to do, I can give it a name. You can leave it client one or you can, um, you know, we could say Akana uh, login. Okay. So or you can change whatever name you want there. The most important thing here is this. Um, authorized redirect. And I'm going to show you what this is going to be. I'm going to cut and paste mine here. Notice everything from here to here you are going to replace with what your Akana tenant URL is. This can be your, if you have a vanity URL, you'd use your vanity URL there. Otherwise, you'd use the, the URL that the Kana platform gave you. Everything after is what you need to use. So edit this accordingly. Pretty simple. Once that's done, you click Save or Create. Now what it's going to give you here is the, this auth idea and client secret. Okay, Copy this because you're going to need this in a second. Okay, So I'm going to copy this over to my clipboard here or my Evernote. All right. You say, okay, we can always go back and find it again if you need to. So you just go to your projects, you'd see this and then you click on Akana and you'd be able to see your client ID and secret. There. That's where it's at. Now we have one more thing to do before we leave Google and this is very, very important, and I cannot tell you how many hours of a day I have wasted for getting this one very important step. Go to Google Plus API, okay? 
click enable. Without doing this, it'll appear stuff has worked until it goes to the final authentication and you have no authorization to actually use that API. So go there, click enable. Now everything should work. Very important. All right, so now we'll go to the easy part. It is going to be configuring the, the connector. We left it here, right? We didn't do anything. So we're gonna call this external, external Google login. Okay, so we're gonna uh, Google login. I'm never good at putting directions in or descriptions in. All right, so click next. We've got app details. So I'm gonna still have my still my password uh, secret there. So I'm gonna paste my secret. I'm gonna go back and grab my client ID. I'm going to put that in here, just like that. Click next, finish, and that's that. Now we've got the Google login configured um, it as a domain. So now if we go to config logins, we can see right here, here's our external Google login. I can enable that. I can upload an image. I can say I've got a Google Plus image right here. I'm going to use that. Upload. Click save. Save. Look at login successful uh, has been successfully configured. Click OK. Now we're gonna um, sign out, log out, okay? Now we're logged out. Now we're gonna go back in and see, oh, there's our Google Plus. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on it. And I'm gonna select one of my users to log in as. It's gonna, here if we would have customized it but we didn't and put a nice image, this is what would have what what appeared. I'm gonna say allow. And what it, it, it logged in, because I was already previously logged in um, to Google as that user. It's gonna bring up that user's um, information and click finish. And now I'm in. It's that simple. So that is how you enable um, your Akana developer portal to leverage a Google login. The most important stuff takes place in setting up your Google account. Once you get to the Akana portal, it's as simple as putting in your client ID and your secret for your Google. Thank you very much.